It gets flavor like a Skittle when I rip a Brian Riddle. Your face is in the pillow, then I shoot it in the middle. It's 26 words in the alphabet. And I use all 26 to get this grip. Cause you can see me on the highway to play in the flame, man. Nicotina late for a slider gang with hot weather, hot leather, and hot cheddar. You bring the beast with the hot bow redder. My soul's controlled by... I'm trying to adhere to the secret. <laughs> <laughs> so the secret, of course, it's a, it's like a motivational book written by this Australian woman, Rhonda Byrne, and it's about how you can get anything in life you want if you know the secret. The one part that I, I laughed at a lot was when it talks about money. We're all sensitive about oh, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all think we need a raise. We're all in debt. The thing that she did, and she was talking, she, she's Australian, right? So she'd be like, the first thing you need to do is, is make, you know, she goes, make money your friend. So whenever you have a, a bill to pay, what you're supposed to do is take that bill and pretend it's a check. And then you thank the Lord, thank the universe for another check. And he brings Thanks, apart. Verizon. Thanks. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. And then the little gnomes come out yeah. and yeah. start washing your dishes. Yeah. It's fantastic. And then they start calling you. Yeah. I bought the audio book because I was going to take a, a road trip to Los Angeles. And here's what I learned, okay? Uh, long drive plus self-help book equals emotional breakdown. <laughs> the secret is the law of attraction. Your thoughts become things. And everything you have in your life right now, you brought to you with your thoughts. <laughs> and I was, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got cranberry juice in my cup. You staring at a rap can't freak. What up? Nighttime God Park. She's got, bad. kid's got spunk. She's got a lot, she's got a voice like this. That kid's got talent. How she you doing? Does. She like smokes on the brakes. It sounds like she's been smoking, yeah. I'm you 15, I've been smoking for 10 years. Is that a problem? I'm tired of this, I'm tired of this. I don't get any jokes, I don't get any good jokes. <laughs> Who's writing? No lines to Billy. Dad, stop singing, shut up, it's not your show. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't that be, that's probably the way. That is probably not far off. I yeah. love you, Hannah, what can I get for you, darling? Oh, I would take Justin home. Justin Timberlake, I'd take him home and I would hurt him. <laughs> Is that what you meant? Sure. Because I would. I would. Hurt him. And even though I'm a lesbian, I would hurt him. And people could call him, I don't care. I used to worry about what people called me. They could call me bisexual or a traitor or whatever. I don't care, just so long as Justin called me back. The nicotine of rolls, I shoot crap. A brand new rap meets a brand new gas. Some brother sit around and snitch like rats. Ain't no telling where I'm at on the map. My hump, my hump, my hump, my lovely little lumps. Check it out. Remember Flavor of Love, oh God, Flavor Flav? She up. was one of the girls that he didn't choose, and she's oh. crazy. So oh. they said, oh, we want you for TV, because that means money for us. So uh -huh. they, anyway, she has her own show, and um, her boobs every season. I'm like, oh my God, yeah, literally. They get like, bigger they're, every season. They're up to here. She yeah. has a turtleneck made of boobs. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> basically what it is. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Which is sexy. And I mean, you know, it puts them where everyone can see them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you right? know, she's putting it all out there. I don't think every man yeah. has that on his birthday yeah. wish list. I want a turtleneck made of boobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Like, I got my dad's boobs, so thanks. <laughs> that's, nice. that's mine, that's, that's mine. Nice. Thanks, Dad, wow. for the A cups. Oh, my. When he was elected, I'll never forget, this is how he referenced the budget. He looked at the camera and he goes, I know we're in a budget deficit, Kay. I know that. If I talk to the budget man, Kay, he's going to figure it out. <laughs> it the, says it on his desk, budget man. The budget man. The budget man. Oh, Who budget man, thank God you're here. <laughs> thank God you're here. Did you bring the muffin man? <laughs> well, whoever our next president will be, do you think, as Americans, the, other war, the rest of the world will hate us less? Like, that's the first thing no. I thought is, well, maybe now if I travel abroad, I won't have to apologize so much. This mm -hmm. is like a breakup. We're breaking right. up with a bad boyfriend right. who's been abusive, <laughs> who's lied to right. us. So and now our can, friends don't respect are us we anymore. Gonna have, yeah, are we going to have the obligatory after the breakup? Are we going to like go to the bar and do shots collectively as a country? <laughs> <laughs> like, more for that, more for that. I can't believe that. <laughs> that like you can't tell the difference between gay guys and straight guys and then you go to a gay bar and it's all gay boys who look just like the emo guys and you right. just there's you can't tell the difference anymore mm -hmm. mm. so that's why I just go to like 
ghetto bars. <laughs> with guys who like grills, who are like, what your name is, shorty? <laughs> what your name is? I don't, I don't speak, I'm you sorry. You need to take what? me to place. Yeah, what what is that? Yeah, seriously, we're like, we're in. Don't tell anyone in my private school I was just speaking that way. No. <laughs> no. No. I was dating a guy who um, apparently had three other girlfriends, and one of them was a friend of mine who lived down the street from me, and we mm. discovered this one night while we were drinking and Awkward. talking about the guys we were dating. And um, the next day I bought, went out and bought the most fabulous pair of shoes. They were hot, teal crocodile metal stiletto. They were just sassy. I'd walk down the street and people would be like, I love your shoes. And it made me feel better. Yeah, I got messed over by that guy, but I looked fabulous in the shoes, so who really cares? Okay. Shoes always bring you long-term happiness. Shoes and lipstick. Now, okay, now this I can get into, the darker side of chocolate. Now we're talking. We don't have to, th this is on a cover page of a section of a newspaper. Would that count as current events? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, because I'm really into chocolate a lot, um, which is, I, and in fact, if you have peanut butter and chocolate, I don't think it gets any better than that. I love the two combined, the Reese's peanut butter cups, my absolute favorite. I love their slogan, how do you eat a Reese's? Uh, four packs at a time. <laughs> That's how I eat a Reese's. There's when all did people start of... hating Celine Dion? Was it the Titanic? Thing? With the Titanic, that was it was like a combination of the song and like her singing it and beating the chest. Oh, the and chest you were like, Shut the up, like, go into yeah. a burlap sack. I, I, I pay for the chest beating. You pay for I love it when she just gets all like face to face, like, I love the children and everyone here who loves me. Everyone. Don't be afraid of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, Bye. You can, love you. You can Bye. beat my chest if you want to. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm extra not funny by myself. <laughs> well, it's the end of a day. You're I'm great in a bar. You should buy me drinks. Let's do this drunk. Forget about the past. You better do the math. Please trying to put their dirty hands on the cash. Bubble keys in a piano. You like to travel? They go to fold the clothes with the animals. Did you hear Barbara Streisand's Jingle Bells? That was a remix. Have you ever heard that? Uh -huh. I have. That will make you want to shoot yourself in the head. It goes Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jing, Jingle, Jingle Bells. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, go Yes. I see. I, I see. I, I like that. You I like it? That. Yeah. I, that sort of speaks to my like my inner Broadway gay. Oh uh, really? See, so, like I just kind of want to get all like jazz hands on it right away. I live in the Haight-Ashbury, which is like the most liberal place besides Berkeley. And sometimes I go to a coffee shop and I just want to get a coffee. I don't want to sign a petition. Right. I don't want to talk to you about your yoga class. I want you to wax your lip. Can we just get on the same bandwagon? I'm sure this is projecting, but different things that my parents are like not too pleased about. Like yeah. I'm like, I'm doing weird comedy and not really jobs that get me anywhere. And my sister's like, I'm in grad school and really focus on my career. And She's like, I'm dating a boy and he's not Jewish. And I'm like, I'm dating a girl and she's Jewish. So it's like. So you're, you yeah. went at different things. We went at different things. You know, I get on the bus and I'm sitting like sort of far in the back and this guy gets on and he's totally, he's on his phone and he's totally like homeboy, like really tough. And he gets on the bus, on, like on the back of the bus and he's talking on his phone so loudly. And what he's saying, he's like, I'm coming over there right now. I'm driving over there. I'm getting in my car. I'm dry. I'm in my car and I'm driving over there. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck him up. So and like he's going on and on about how he's like gonna like beat this guy up and like you better watch out. But he keeps on repeating like overcompensating for the fact that he's actually on like the city bus, like public transportation, and keeps on saying like I'm driving. I'm in my car. I'm driving right now. And I'm just sitting there and I think it's so funny and I'm like looking around for someone to be like he's not in his car and I wanted to just be like you're on the bus you're like woohoo we're all on the bus it gets flavor like a skittle when I rip a brine riddle your face is in the pillow then I shoot it in the middle it's 26 words in the alphabet and I use all 26 to get this grip